All right, so here we are. We're back from our little break. <laughs> Round three. Um, so I'll go. Um, I was going to talk about achievements and trophies because it's something that's dear, near and dear to my heart. I love, uh, I'm a bit of a trophy hunter and achievement whore. And um, I just wanted to talk about... Here's a golden bottle. Oh, jeez, I just won something. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Trophy, <laughs> yeah. Trophy unlocked. Um, I want to talk about stupid trophies like how I want to, and, and achievements. I want to talk about how they're integrated into games and whether or not they should be integrated more. Because I feel that developers of games don't actually really think about trophies or achievements when they're putting the game together. And it's sort of something they kind of just tack on at the end. And quite often the achievements and the trophies are stupid and don't really add to the game or don't really add to any anything really. Mm. And um, quite often a lot of these trophies and achievements become unachievable. You know, with like so, say an online feature goes offline or they change some component of it or blah 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 mm. and suddenly something that you could get like when it first was released is now you totally cannot ever get this. Yeah. It's like, well hang on, I paid a hundred bucks for this game and to me hundred percenting this game to the maximum completion yeah. is to do everything yeah. and you're telling me I now can't do this thing you know like that, that to me seems really odd so I'm, I'm not sure if you guys are too up as I'm not even what about you Kahu have you do you even know what an achievement is because uh, like, I mean it's, it, came, it came into being with Xbox have you ever achieved anything <laughs> 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 you've just rolled yeah. over <laughs> <laughs> Die now. <laughs> forget your family, forget your kids. You haven't achieved anything. Is something I said? Do you know what an achievement is? <laughs> well, Mr. Brooks, yeah, you know, you have to hark and back that achievements have been around for a long, long time. Just think when you had to unlock characters in Tekken. Yep, true. Yeah, you know, yeah, so, you know, yeah, or, true. or like, you know, with Grand Theft Auto, you had to complete. Um, you know, he, had to, he got a bronze medal or a, or a silver medal, so yeah, he's been around for a long, long time. So yes, I have. But they <laughs> achieved. Those ones are well integrated into the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And they're always there, yeah. and um, blah blah blah. But the achievements I'm talking about are the ones that were introduced with Xbox 360. Yeah, yeah. And stuff like that. So they're sort of yeah, the, they're outside of the game. Yeah, get, the credits. The, yeah, you get this yeah, gamer yeah. score, and and, yeah. and, tr and with um, PlayStation, you get platinums and trophies and yeah. stuff. Yeah. And where was I going with that? Topic nowhere. Right? Nowhere. I haven't achieved anything <laughs> with no, this topic. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you're right. So those ones that you were talking yeah, about, yeah, yeah. They're, they're in the game. Yeah, whereas these the are, game trip, these yeah. are on the outside of the game and quite often aren't even catered for. Yeah. And, 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 and quite often are really fucking stupid. Yeah. So I'll give you an example of ones that I've just encountered recently, which is why I wanted to talk about this, because I've just been playing Everybody's Gone to the Rapture. Beat the game, enjoyed it, and I got one, one trophy, which was beat the game. I was like, oh, okay, interesting. I wonder what these other trophies were that I missed out on, because you'll be at least another 10 or 12 or something. <coughs> and one of the trophies is literally called Passive Observer, which is to sit there and do nothing, put the control pad down, for about five to ten minutes. <laughs> and so I'm sitting there waiting for this achievement to pop, looking at the controller, yeah. looking at the screen, thinking to myself, what the fuck am I doing? I'm not playing the game. Yeah. I'm not yeah. doing a damn thing. Yeah. And then I had, and then another achievement was to hop on this this sort of seesaw thing in the park, stand on that for two minutes. I'm just like <clears throat> going back and forth on this thing in first person, just thinking, what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> and then I had to go to the bar and wait at the bar. This is a town that is deserted after this <laughs> post-apocalyptic sort of event. There's no one here, so I go to the bar and wait for a drink at both bars. And you have to wait for over three minutes at both bars, just waiting for a drink. So, again, park my character at the bar, you, going, what? You, you clearly we... weren't role-playing. <laughs> <laughs> but who would play you? No one would ever do this naturally. You know, you could never achieve these without looking at the achievement mm. and going, oh, you want me to just do nothing for <laughs> ten minutes? Okay. It's, just, it's time to give you like time away for it to breathe. Yeah. You know, to calm your, your rage down. Yeah, clearly. Yeah. <laughs> but in actual fact, it's actually building your rage up. <laughs> well, yeah, because I'm just wondering what what is the point in this achievement? It's not I'm not I'm not gaining anything. There's there's no point to it. You would never naturally yeah. do it anyway. It's a free shit break. You put the controller <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you come back and you've got yeah. the ten game score. Yeah. It's what 
take, go, go take a shit. You'll get a trophy for it. <laughs> <laughs> take oh, it's a shit so it's, infic- it's infecting your real life. So yeah, like what you saying, you know, it gives you some time to go for a shit. If you yeah, you might you might actually <laughs> naturally do that, come back and go, okay, and then this achievement pops, you go, oh. And it was, it's called shit break. <laughs> Oh, how fortuitous! <laughs> like, I, you're, you're talking about just... Which actually happened, sorry. I was playing Journey, and one of the dumb achievements in that game was to sit with another player at one of these um, sort of shrines, which is the sort of <clears throat> um, pathway to the next level. You have to sit there after the next level starts and not move for a minute. And I was so tired while I was playing the game, I actually fell asleep. Mm. And I sort of woke up and went, oh, ding! And I was like, huh? <laughs> what, what, what? You fell asleep. Yeah. yeah, and I looked at the achievement, and sure enough, it was sit there with another player for a minute. And this other dude had obviously been wanting to get this achievement with somebody, so he knew about it. Because otherwise, why else? Unless he fell asleep as well. <laughs> and I was like, huh, that's so random. Yeah. So, uh, that naturally <laughs> happened. <laughs> yeah, uh, I find stupid trophies or achievements to be ones that are like. Um, get top of the leaderboard or get yes. five headshots do yeah, a 360 yeah. mm. do a 360 turn in the air and then get a headshot only online yeah, yeah. and then yeah. maybe the game's old now so the the, the servers are shut down yeah you can't get that achievement anymore yeah. yeah and how exclusive to have one that says be top of the leaderboard how many people are going to ever be top of the leaderboard well yeah. imagine that halo 5 comes out and then one of the achievements is get top of the leaderboard yeah. so yeah. be the best in the world and you'll get this achievement the, 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 yeah for some people it won't be possible. ever achievable yeah, yeah. Yeah, and so that, you can't but, that, but that's what it is it's a trophy it's yeah, not yeah. like we're not all going to go and win a hundred meter sprint yeah, 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 <laughs> you know? that's true. It, it's not a, it's not a big thing for me like i don't yeah. really care because it takes the experience away from me like mm-hmm. things like you're saying it takes you out of the game yeah um but i have um like i, I do look i playing in middle gear peace walker there was a simple trophy of like all you had to do was um trade a trade a soldier between two people it's like hey this is easy one to that but i i'm not a big platinum kind of Mm. Um, platinum mean 100% in games mm. so for example if you came across a game and you were like Phil who's trophy hunter achievement whore um, and you couldn't get that top of the leaderboard wouldn't you be pissed off at that? yeah totally I think it's unfair because I want to get 100% I want to get every single achievement in the game to me that's part of it <clears throat> yeah why put it there if it's not achievable yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it is achievable yeah, but it's so exclusive. Like, <laughs> oh no, it depends what it is. Like, yeah. for example, it's a challenge. for example, like Halo Five, uh, twenty years down the track, and say the same <coughs> servers decide to get taken away, and there's certain achievements that were only achievable online. Mm. And say, say it was on Steam, or the the game was you managed to get it for fifty cents mm. from somewhere. Oh yeah, oh I can't. Well, they're only relevant the time you get it, aren't they? Mm. Well, should they be? But yes, I guess that is the question. It's kind of like asking what you determine a 10 out of 10 is. Like we were saying, how do you determine what the 10 is? I'm saying, what? how do you think a gamer score should be? To me, I think it should be integrated into the game as part of the game in an achievable thing. Just like, say, collecting all of the gems within the level would be a thing. And there's a little counter in the corner that says 3 of 100. You know, and you know you can get there and you can do it. At some point, yeah. you just have to do it. To me, the, yeah. the, the achievement should be like that, that part of the game and achievement. Yeah. They should actually tier them, so you should have achievements for single player, achievements for multiplayer, and there may be some fucking extreme ones at the top. For does, that class, and... does that class is 100% though? Well, you can at least 100% it on the single player, you know, so if you bought it, and you're never ever going to play the multiplayer, because let's face it, some people just don't play multiplayer. Yeah. 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 In that way, you can at least say, oh, well, I've 100%ed the game. And it should still say that. There should be that sense of completion where it's like, it, like yeah. it says single player and it says 100% or whatever, yeah. rather than saying 50% because <laughs> yeah. you haven't done the multiplayer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could argue that that's not 100% yeah. of the game. 100% mm. of the game is the, the full experience. So yeah. the campaign, plus it's multiplayer, plus mm. so and so. And if you don't play multiplayer then that's kind of tough on you I guess no. it sucks in situations though where the multiplayer is shit like but, Tomb Raider but the thing is it only matters <laughs> it only matters to people like Phil because personally exactly. I, yeah. I've never bothered with the achievements I see them pop up from time to time and I'm like, oh, that's interesting I'll even look afterwards and see what I didn't do but yeah. it, like on Steam yeah mm. uh, but it doesn't compel me to go back and to try and do anything. Have you ever gone back and tried to get anything? Yeah, I did. I 100% of Captain America on PlayStation 3. But it was only because it was so easy and I got like 90 something percent. So I thought, oh, I only got to do this. Oh, I'll just do it for the hell of That's it. where it starts. Yeah. And it, it happens with a few other games and next thing you, you're a whore. Yeah. And every, you have to get everything. Well, for me with achievements, so the, the one that I remember doing it on and wanting to get the achievements is Tony Hawk's 
Oh, yeah. You know, all you know, you had to you had to run the line, you had to grind, flip, da da da. You know, it was a process thing, and you know, fuck, I sat there ages trying to get that, yeah. get that combination going. You know, and then you, bring, but then they give you anything really for it. So that's that other part of your question. You know, what's the tangible thing at the end of it? Is mm. is it worth it? You know, is it worth it at the end of it? Just bragging, right? Yeah. 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 Although. I I did do the la- I got the platinum on everybody's gone for the rapture last night and the last one I had to get was complete 100% of the story yeah. and the only way you're really going to do that is if you follow a guide to make sure you do everything in the exact order yeah. and I actually got a huge amount out of that because I realised I'd missed a fuckload there was an entire area of the game I didn't even go to that I didn't know was there um, and so I, and I, there was all this new story content that was filling in the gaps in the story for me like to be honest I was a little pissed off that it didn't <sighs> hold my hand a little bit more through the story because I fear that other people who play the game are going to miss out on the ultimate story that yeah. is within this game. But that's my first impression was I didn't like the game. Yeah. And I and if it wasn't for the trophies, I would not have played it again. And I would be going around telling you guys, I oh, don't bother with everybody's going yeah. to the rapture. Whereas now I'd say it's worth playing. But, but that's your experience though. Like for, There would be some people that would have come across this area and be like, oh, totally, like, totally. Mate. like <laughs> yeah. Totally. But, but yeah, yeah. And But let's say 50% of the people come across yeah. Most of the content, that's yeah. great. And the other 50 are like me, you didn't. And then yeah. they walk away with a lesser experience. Because yeah. it's a story-based game. Yeah. And if you miss half the story... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, and plus the thing is, the reality is that most gamers, when they pick up a new game, they want to say, hey, I've finished it, but not finished it 100%. You know, they want to say they've clocked the game. Because, you know, you can clock the game without mm. completing the whole... Yeah. And, and then they look back and see how much of the game that they have actually done. Yeah. But the, the true challenge for a first-time buyer, other than you, obviously, yeah. Phil, oh, is... No. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I think... Well, I know, because I played it the first time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As I just wanted to beat the game, yeah. which is why I missed things, because I wasn't following any guides. Yeah. It's why I only unlocked one achievement, because I wasn't trying to get other ones. I didn't even know about them, because I don't, I don't want to know. I want yeah. to experience the story and the game as it is, the first time by myself, and then after that, I break the game yeah. to get everything out of it. Yeah. Suck it dry. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> yeah, down to the bone. <laughs> Dick reference. Fellas, <laughs> 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 anyone? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought we were talking about chicken. <laughs> uh, I lost what I was going to say. <laughs> Just thinking about it. Dicks. You talk, you oh, talk. No, 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 no. Um, I, I wanted to see with you, because even though I'm not a trophy hunter, I do compare trophies with friends of mine in my list. Mm. And like, if, if there's a game that I like consider myself pretty good at, I was like, I wonder how Phil's done in this. And then I'll see that one trophy, I was like, fuck, you managed to get those five headshots? And I was like, ooh! Yeah. And, and then you go for no, it. No, no, no. Oh, yes and no, it depends. And yeah. how I am at the time, I was like, nah, fuck that, that's going to take like 100 hours, which I don't have the time for, or yeah. whatever. It is a time. But yeah. I, I do like to, like even if somebody um, has like say 80% uh, trophy got a game, and I'm like 70%, then I'd like to know that 10% on how, how much they did better than me, yet, or they managed to get lucky on something, or a trophy that comes up on, that it was real easy, that I just happened not to get, or I missed. Mm. Do you guys do that? Do you guys compare it, or oh, yeah. is that one of the reasons why you're a bit of a trophy hunter? Is like, oh, you we both completed that game, right? Did you manage to get those five headshot kills on that place up the up at the tower? And you're like, no. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. That's where it started as well. Because yeah. of course, all my friends had Xbox 360s, and we were all yeah. playing some of the games. And of course, you, yeah. I mean, is that almost a one up? Yeah, I used to compare all the time, like, and, yeah. I, and I know that my we've, friends. We've completed the game. Yeah. We're both good at the game. I'm just better. Even the vernaculars now, I platinum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Clock is gone. Yeah, clock is gone. Yeah, man. I platinum it. Yeah, totally. Gaming status. Yeah, yeah. Hashtag gaming status. Yeah, yeah. Got the platinum. Although that's only really for PlayStation. I don't know what the Xbox one would be. You worried about that? Does it bother you? No, I mean it's on Steam. I think just because it's the copying, yeah. Exactly, yeah. It? yeah, it's on Steam just to say it's there. But I, mm. I don't know a single person on Steam that I know that actually bothers with them. Mm. It's seeing if it factored into it a bit more, like it actually meant something. You know? Yeah, like, like you'll do shit and it'll pop up saying, you know, you were cheating. Like, yeah. like I've been playing Fallout Four lately, and I've been doing shit like. You know, Did you say four? 
Oh, fuck, wow. I was like, New Vegas. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, give us the lowdown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> give, us, give us the review day. Yeah, yeah. I, I, re- I recently updated to Windows 10, and for some reason, my Fallout New Vegas suddenly works. <laughs> Change, so, so for some like, reason, changed the Fallout 4. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I opened up New Vegas. <laughs> it evolved like Pokemon. <laughs> hey, before Fallout 4, it pretty much was Fallout 4. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> Oh, it's now right. So, so now, now it works. <laughs> it works. And it has trophies right, yeah. and stuff. Yeah, it's got trophies. Like you know, you side with the NCR, and then you know, it gives you an achievement for it. But like, it just kind of pops up and goes away, like it does on Xbox. But mm. I've never, like, I'll, I'll shift tab to bring up my menu thing, and I'll say, oh, why I did that? Oh, cool. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just something extra. Do you do you think you should get a trophy for completing a level? Those are like the easiest achievements. I love how they give you one right at the start of the game usually. Oh, like the free. Like you open the door and things is like, you, you open the, the door. door. So yeah. Get out of there, you don't get any for ages. The free points achievement. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's, it's, it's like, um, you know, the, the first time you, you get addicted to, say, like, cannabis. Hey, have a little taste. Yeah. It's That's basically. exactly what it is because yeah. they, they get that. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> yeah. Because you can delete a game from your game of history yeah. if you haven't unlocked an achievement yet. I don't know what's like on PlayStation. Yeah, same yeah, you thing. Can. Same but thing. as soon as you unlock an achievement, it's locked there, and it goes against your statistics of how many games you've played and how many <laughs> achievements you've got, and blah blah blah. Yeah, yeah, and so, yeah. if you are an achievement hunter, as soon as you unlock that first one, they it's kind of they've got you. Yeah, you're on the board. Yeah, yeah and <laughs> it won't work for everyone. For some people, it'll be like, what the fuck? But for others, it's like, okay, we're in. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm invested in this game. <laughs> how now. many? How many are we getting? Oh, yeah. top of the leaderboard. I can do this. <laughs> 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 five weeks later. Yeah, five years later. <laughs> well, how do you how do you guys feel about changing achievements then? Um, uh, they could be uh, something that's not achievable, so they change it to make it achievable. Um, but somebody may have like been able to do the impossible and maybe have been able to achieve it. But now because oh, everybody's making away. making an uproar about it, they're like, make this one easier. This is bullshit. And yeah, I, I think it's cool though. Like you think of those people who do like Super Mario, like they do the <clears> first. <throat> Like they do the whole, they do a speed run or they, you know, that kind of stuff. And they, you know, they video it in there. But I mean, that's what it would be the equivalent of back yeah. in the day. Like you get an achievement for doing the impossible, you know, like speed run this level in 30 seconds or something, you know. And, and that, that's pretty cool. Like for those guys, that would be pretty awesome. So I, I, no, I think you should have achievements for like really, really hard things. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I'll just scrap all the easy shit. <laughs> I'd make it like, a trophy's a trophy, you know, not just completing a game or completing a level. You've done this, you know, you've, you've managed to stay alive for 20 minutes in Halo multiplayer or something, or, you know, anything like that. What about name and shame trophies? Um, there was a game with some cheerleader and she had a chainsaw and she took out some yeah. zombies and there was an achievement that came up that, um, look up her skirt achievement. So uh, it's one of those like if she jumped Easter egg and, type ones. Yeah, and yeah. if you like angled the camera right and looked up her skirt and you got an achievement for that. Yeah. So you know when you go around you're like, oh bro, it feels so perfect. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. I'm going after that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I got it twice. <laughs> 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 yeah. Multiple profiles. <laughs> but there, there was one in uh, God of War Ascension which was a bit controversial, um, like because all, all the bosses in that game are uh, not all the bosses, but like the main bosses were they were female. Mm. And when you slam one of them, if you don't know God of War, he's just like, he brutally kills anything in yeah. his path. Um, and the, the achievement was called Bros Before Hoes. Now, if you're a female and you like God of War, that's quite, that's yeah. quite um, controversial. Yeah. And uh, it's, it's uh, putting a bad look on, on women. Yeah. Um, so they changed it to um, Hoes Before Bros. Do you guys agree with that or is that kind of... Mm. <sighs> oh, of course we're all agreeing with it. We don't want to offend anybody. The, the yeah. thing is, regardless of what we, you know, our, you know, society is going to infiltrate any environment, and 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 gaming world isn't immune to it, you know. And because the thing is, what's the? Oh, I don't even know what the statistic is. But hey, females are the big is, is, is the growing is the biggest growing market in gaming, mm. right across the board. Mm-hmm. So you know the thing is those those uh, you know the playstations you know the developers they they want us they want to bring them in because they've already got us mm. oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they've already got us so they they yeah. they want to get new people yeah. and they so, can't they, yeah. they can't offend us yeah Did they? yeah that's right they can't offend us yeah, yeah. hose before bros we go yeah. bros before hose they go yeah. Yeah. did they change that whole achievement 
no, just, no, just just for women. No, no, yeah, oh, no, 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 no. It was, it was just the name of it. So, like, what you do yeah. in the game doesn't change, but they just changed the name because it was offensive. And people who to like what? the God of War franchise were like, oh. You might want to think about that. Yeah, one. yeah. Yeah. Bros before hoes? No, no, that's not cool. Man. I mean, like. And, when, and, when, and Kratos is slamming down a female. Like. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, like, when you make your profile, don't you say whether you're male or female? Like, couldn't you just have a separate achievement that says hoes before bros for female gamer profiles? Yeah. And then you have both people happy? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could do. That's thinking too much. <laughs> it doesn't. It, 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 Stop it! Yeah. <laughs> All the planning. Yeah. <laughs> that would be an interesting idea, though. Have gender specific achievements. I'm surprised they haven't done Why? It. Yeah, you got that bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Just to avoid that issue, I guess. Yeah, but, but the, and the thing is, um, you know, what guys like sometimes is different from what girls like because the thing is you know unfortunately games are um geared towards guys and their way of thinking mm. now i don't think it'd be too hard of a of a thing to make you know female specific goals mm. yeah i actually think that's a good idea dave you should put that forward <laughs> thinking so hashtag thinking to all the developers who watch this show, uh, there you go. All the developers <laughs> that watch this show. <laughs> Alright, so uh, great topic. We're going to have to wrap it up there because I think that's all we have time for today. We really wanted to hear from Dave this week, but... <laughs> who cares? So... <laughs> nah, just kidding. No, nah, sorry, we actually do have to wrap it up because we've got to get going. But um, it'll keep. It'll keep. It'll keep. We can do it next time. We can do it next time. Alright, so thanks for tuning in. I'd like to take this time to thank Kahu for his contribution today. It's great thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> and um, I won't thank the rest of you because it's just part and parcel. Uh, usage of the house. Yeah, oh, yeah, usage of the house. Oh. Yeah, we're in a new location, you may not have realised. Um, everything's changed. <laughs> Okay, it'll probably be different again next week. So, yep, if you like what you saw, make sure you subscribe, like, follow, and all those amazing things, and we'll catch you next time. Peace out. Peace. Ciao.